So in this video, we're going to be talking about Cancer Moon Natal Placement. So if you have this placement, this is the right video for you. And with that being said, what does the moon represent in astrology? The moon in astrology represents intuition and it represents emotions and it represents investments of time, energy, or care. And um, so often it shows how we are nurtured in life and how we were nurtured. But it also shows things that we hold on to um, because it rules uh, resources and investments, like I was saying. And a lot of times it's investments that pass down in the family because can cancer, which is the sign that the moon rules, is about family and it's about lineage and it's about roots. So uh, with that being said, when you have the moon in cancer, which is its own sign, this means that you have a strong moon. Um, and generally speaking, um, you would tend to store your energy or, or direct it into one particular place. And depending on which house that your moon is in, um, this will show like where you direct your energy. But, um, you guys tend to be driven towards security. Now, um, the next thing about this placement is when you have the moon in Cancer, you tend to be emotionally secure and you have a private side to yourself that um, you tend to keep away from the general public or like the general uh, people in your, in your public life. Um, so, uh, you guys tend to have like a private, um, life and like some sort of life that is separate from, you know, so society or social norms. Um, there's like a side of you that's family oriented. And then there's another side of you, which is the rest of, of life and stuff like that. And there's a part of you that is not easily accessible to any and everyone. So this gives you a lot of security. Um, a lot of times you can go out into the world and be a strong individual because you have this private and secure side to yourself that you tend to disconnect from um, everything else. Now, uh, with that being said, you guys are highly driven because when the moon is in its own sign, that means it's in the first house from its own house. It's in the first sign from its own sign. And the first sign is Aries or like the first house. And the first house is about objectives and it's about action and it's about being driven. So generally speaking, you guys are constantly emotionally driven to um, achieving more security for yourselves and for your descendants and for your family. So you guys like always have this drive. Um, now, sometimes you guys can be lazy and you guys can uh, enjoy doing the things that are comfortable in life. Um, because cancer is about comfort. But when it comes to protecting your loved ones and protecting your security, you guys get kicked into overdrive and you guys immediately go into protection mode. And you guys have unlimited energy if uh, it comes to providing for your families or for, for a certain goal um, like that. Now, anyways, um, as well, when you have the moon in cancer which is its own sign, uh, this means that you tend to have a history or like a family lineage or you tend to have roots that can actually be quite deep or intricate. Um, and you can relatively easily access those roots if you wanted to. Like you could search up your history and it would be very insightful. Like there's a lot of information about your roots. And that's not always the case with all people. Like other moon signs may not have that strong of a family root. But again, your your moon being in Cancer shows that um, there is a strong element of family and, and roots in some way. Now, another thing about the moon is it shows what matters to us because it rules the emotions. So when you have the sign of Cancer, um, this means that history matters to you. And also, so does preparing for future generations. 
um, you really care about preserving things. Um, and the things that really stand out to you in life are things that have lasted a long time. Because those things tend to give you security because you have your moon in the sign of long lasting things and of roots, which is cancer. So um, what gives you emotional security are things that have lasted a long time, people that have lasted a long time in your life. Just anything that has lasted a long time, you start to open up to it. You, you actually enjoy those things. But also the idea of things that will last a long time um, are very interesting to you and also give you emotional security. So you guys can be responsible in that sense because you guys know where to invest your energy. You guys don't invest your energy into unreliable things because they put you off and they actually f make you feel a little bit insecure. Like you don't want to be around something that's not going to last a long time. Now, um, in general, how you guys achieve emotional fulfillment and relationship is through time, investments of energy and care. But also just in general, how you guys feel emotionally fulfilled is things such as that. So um, a lot of times cancers, like if you have strong cancer in your chart, this could show an interest in creative projects and like things that you creatively develop for long periods of time, like painting or like um, music, but anything like anything creative, but also things such as gardening, things that involve caring. Um, so a lot of times caring for plants, caring for animals, like things that you have to raise and develop really interest you. Um, and sometimes that can take the form of also art and, and music, like creating something. Now, the other thing is, um, you know, time, investment and and care confirms the value of someone or something. Uh, and it gives you emotional security. And uh, last but not least, uh, when you have the moon in the sign of roots and uh, the moon, which represents resources or it represents your substance as an individual, um, as opposed to the sun sign, which is the masculine side of yourself, which represents your energy or what you you put out into the world. Um, anyways, when you have the moon in cancer, this shows that you are often a resource to others. So a lot of times your family will be able to depend on you or you have depending on your own family as well. And like there's something that's long lasting that you can uh, sit upon or stabilize. And if it's not family, it could be resources. Like a lot of times moon and cancer people will have a lot of financial resources, especially if the moon is in the second house. Um, and again, this is how the houses can show, you know, more insight about your placement. But uh, yeah, so generally speaking, um, the moon and cancer shows somebody that's able to direct their energy into one place that is private and secure. Um, they will always tend to have the resources that they need, whether it comes from themselves or from others. Uh, you guys have a network of dependability and you guys have like a typical lineage or like a like a family roots and things that interest you are history and also the future interests you because you guys like preparing for it and you guys like to to um, build things that will last a long time um, you guys like things that last a long time you guys like cars that will be reliable you guys like homes that will be reliable you guys like people that will be reliable um now, the last thing, though, is that you guys are able to protect your energy very well because uh, you guys are fighters because the moon is in its own sign. So it's in the first from its own sign. And the first is associated with Aries and Aries is a fighter and Aries is tough. So why the moon in Cancer is so good is because you guys have this ability to protect your energy. You guys are protectors and fighters. And um, yeah, so that basically sums up this placement. Um, it's the natural sign for the moon. Um, and with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video or you learned something about yourself or others, then don't forget to leave a like. Um, I hope you guys in enjoyed and, uh, don't forget to share this with somebody, you know, that has this placement if you know somebody. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.